So when they said that there was a lot of change coming in this mainline update last week on the dev stream, they weren't half telling the truth, right? There is a lot more to come, a lot more than we were originally told. Part two of review, revise, and of course refresh for the information on this week's mainline update has just gone up on the Warframe website and holy crap, it is a bit of an overload of changes. Expect things like your aura mods, your go-to aura mods to change, Warframe's base armor values, arcanes, mages arcanes, the status types like viral, corrosive gas and so on are changing. Some are being tweaked and some are completely new effects with their enhanced effects added in as well. A lot to talk about. Warframe's damage system, as we know, is finally about to change. That scaling complaint that we have used for years will hopefully be a thing of the past for a week or two let's get right into it okay every warframe in the game is getting a base armor boost of some kind whether it is 25 armor at base or an additional 50 armor they're all getting it even inros is getting a boost like he feckin needs it this is their new values. Now, Vauban is going from 50 to 150. His prime is going all the way up to 200, which we kind of knew was inbound anyway. In fact, we thought it was just him getting an armor boost. Now it turns out that it is every Warframe in the game. Nyx, Banshee, Zephyr, Trinity, and a few others are all getting nice survivability boosts, as well as, I guess, the implementation of that shield gating that will come with mainline and that 25% damage reduction boost that we'll get from the new Tenno damage system from shields so extra armor and hopefully survivability for everyone now i go over the changes to arcanes in a minute but first off i wanted to go over the elemental status effects and of course the faction aura mods like corrosive projection which are getting some pretty huge changes in order to fit in with the incoming changes to enemy scaling now those aura mods are apparently being changed so that they're not as heavily relied upon as they were before so your go-to aura mods like corrosive projection infested impedance and of course shield disruption will soon only strip enemies of between 60 to 80 percent of their defenses shield armor and so on that's if your squad is running a four stack of that chosen aura but it is still being tested on or subject to photo changes now on top of those changes to the auras status effects are also seeing changes or being remade I guess from the ground up this is the changes to those status effects now if you're wondering what an enhanced status effect is it's basically dealing the same status effect more than once to the same enemy and it gives it that enhanced effect now slash damage apparently isn't really changing with the exception of it dealing damage to shields before it goes near health but we are being told that each slash effect will have its own duration and that they're only going to show a maximum of 10 damage numbers or 10 events in the hood at any given time to help increase the game's performance now it's damage we're being told shouldn't be affected hopefully but i guess someone will need to keep a track on this because there will be the conspiracy nuts out there that are saying they're hiding damage events in order to nerf slash damage which could be true and probably isn't enhanced impact damage will change from staggering an enemy to completely ragdolling them Puncture damage will cause enemies to deal 30% less damage, but with the enhanced effect, it will increase that damage reduction by a bonus of 5%, up to a maximum of 75% less damage from that enemy once you keep dealing puncture effects to it. Cold effect will start at 25% slow and stack, all the way up to a 70% slow on enemies with 10 procs in total. Heat status effect is not changing one little bit, and toxin will work the same as slash, I guess with the amount of numbers being removed from the hood damage again should be untouched electric sounds like it gives an area of effect elemental proc if the target is already stunned by a base or an original electric proc like you deal one electric proc to an enemy and then when you hit it with another one it might spark out and hit enemies beside them now the blast status effect will now give enemies 30% less accuracy and stack up to 75% with 10 stacks. This will be seen a lot, I guess, if we do have a new explosive weapon meta, right? Which we might not have. I'll go over that in a second as well. Enemies dealing, I guess, 75% less accuracy, blind as shite, which leaves us with the big five of the elemental combos. Corrosive, viral, gas, magnetic, and of course, radiation. A lot of these are changing. Corrosive will strip 26% of a target's armor and keep stacking up to a maximum, right, a maximum, which it never had before, of 80% armor removal. So corrosive no longer infinitely stacks in order to fully remove an enemy's armor, but we're being told 
it isn't needed as much because of the rescaling and rebalancing of enemy armor that's coming with this mainline update that s curve that we were shown on the dev stream radiation damage will still have a 100 percent chance to cause a chaos effect and have enemies fight one another to the death but each additional radiation effect will increase your damage by 50 percent on that target up to a maximum of 550 percent bonus damage with 10 stacks of radiation and each radiation stack will last 12 seconds i need a fucking breed oh jesus Right, now that sounds insanely good, okay, for dishing out huge damage numbers, especially, I guess, if you're running around with a radiation status sniper, <laughs> if there's any of those that you like. Magnetic damage is completely changed, so this is a new effect. The first magnetic effect will deal an extra 100% bonus damage to an enemy's shield, while the next few magnetic effects that you hit it with will deal a bonus 25% damage to the shield, up to a maximum of 325% bonus damage, and enemies under the effect of this new magnetic status can no longer regenerate their shields. The viral status effect is also getting a completely new rework from the ground up. It's pretty much the same as magnetic, except it's against health and not shield. The new viral will deal a bonus 100% damage to enemies' health with the first viral effect and deal another 25% bonus with each viral effect after that, stacking up to a maximum bonus of 325% bonus damage to enemies health. Which leaves us with the gas elemental effect. Now it's kind of staying as it is, but the base duration now matches that of slash damage. So its damage numbers should be as you were. Now with the changes to corrosive projection, not removing all of the enemy armor like it did before, and how corrosive itself no longer strips all of the enemy armor, Armor. It kind of sounds all doom and gloom, but we don't know what enemy scaling is going to be like. We're being told corrosive projection won't be relied upon like it was before, and neither will corrosive as an elemental effect. Viral sounds like it could be absolutely amazing. I would imagine Saren will be fucking insane with this update, even more insane than she was before. So don't be surprised if we see some changes to whore down the line as well because of this but with the removal of self damage they are also changing how area of effect weapons work giving them a minus 20 percent radius on that explosion so less coverage while also giving them a radial damage fall off from the point of impact of 90 percent less damage to enemies that might be just at the edge of that explosion now this damage fall off and the changes to the i guess size of the explosion is to stop an explosive weapon meta from becoming a thing again just like the old days of Tonkor when it reigned supreme. So in the center of that explosion, the damage will still be the same as it always was, but on the outside, it will only deal 10% of what its base values were. So don't expect blast weapons to be, I guess, the king of everything. Now, with the changes to Arcane Guardian in the last dev workshop post, it was a typo. We weren't told the real values. Now we know what they are. 15% chance to gain 900 bonus armor for 20 seconds. And you're going to need 21 single arcanes to reach rank 5 with any arcane in the game now, including the major ones. Arcane Energize apparently will still work through toggled abilities, so no change to it. One little bit, except I guess for that cooldown, which is only going to last for the duration of I guess a, a the proc that you've just had so it should still kick in quite a lot all Tenno Arcanes or Magus Arcanes are also being bumped up to rank 5 which means increased stats for them as well as you needing more of them 21 of them to reach rank 5 Arcanes like Magus Elevate will give you a 95% chance to give 300 health back instead of a 75% chance for 200 health. So each one of these Magus Arcanes is getting bumped up to level 5 or rank 5, but it's also going to boost the effect that the Arcane gave you. And when you add it into the enemy damage scaling changes that were announced on the last dev stream, everything is being either rebalanced or reworked in some way hopefully for the better we don't know and we won't until the update drops and we get to test it out for ourselves and you'll see what works and what doesn't work and what needs to change and what doesn't need to change and i guess eventually what becomes the new meta right and what is the go-to weapons of choice but it has taken years for them to do this. The community has wanted the core gameplay mechanics and scaling especially to be looked at for a very long time. Now it's here and I would be lying if I said I wasn't excited but at the same time very skeptical and kind of hoping that nothing gets fucked up. 
Do me a favor, share your thoughts in the comment section below, or don't. Hit that like button, or don't. Subscribe for more Warframe, and as always, thanks very much for watching.